All right. Um, we are recording on page three. Go ahead and read this box to yourself, and I'll read it out loud in a second. Go ahead and read this box to yourself. Okay. The cost of five cereal boxes is $10. What is the cost of one cereal box? Okay. So we have five cereal boxes, but I want to know what the cost of one cereal box is. Okay. Well, I just kind of gave it away. Um, before we do the math math, we have to find out what are we solving one of? One cereal boxes. That's actually more important than the actual number. Knowing that you're solving for one cereal box, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the most important thing more than the number. I know, I'm a math teacher, but I care more about the one cereal box than I do the actual number. Now, why do I care so much about the one? Because that tells you what goes outside. So what are we solving one of, Caesar? we're focusing? What are we solving one of? Cereal boxes. So the boxes will go outside. Whatever the boxes are will go outside. Yes, label this with the word box. It's very important. More than the answer. I know some of you have already been shouting out the answer. Fantastic. But this is actually this word right here. You're not a starving child. You can wait. You can wait. Yes, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, what number in the first sentence is your boxes? What number in your first sentence five. is your boxes? Five. So five cereal boxes. So that means that the five will go outside or inside? Outside. Outside. I don't know what you're waiting for. You're going to make it more awkward. I'm going to make such a big deal out of it. Okay, what number goes inside? Ten. Ten. All right, divide it out. Mm -hmm. How many times does five go into ten? Two. Now, what does two mean? Yeah, so it means two dollars. That's my unit price or my unit rate, two dollars per, per cereal box. You can you can get up, Jasmine. It's fine. It's fine. You can hobble on over. I just want to know what cereal box is two dollars. Captain Crunch, single serving, the Honey Nut Cheerios. All right. Have you guys ever filled out one of these tables? Yes. You somewhat filled one out on your uh, homework, right? Okay. But today, I want to know what does X stand for and what does Y stand for? In, but in the context of, of the question, of the story. So, X. Yes. So, you see this word out here? Do you remember how we were solving one box? Okay. So we're solving for one cereal box. It even has the word one. You're so lucky because it says one on it. There's no question about what we're solving one of. So one cereal box. So whatever you're finding one of, that's your X. Okay? So your X is going to be boxes. Your X will be boxes. So on the test, Isaiah, I'm going to grade you on can you label your X and Y correctly. And your X is what you're finding one of. So we're finding one cereal box, so X is boxes. What is Y? What's the other thing we're talking about in the story? Price. Price. Money. How do I know? Because what does the 10 mean? $10. So that's what your Y is. All right, I'm going to ask you the hardest question of the day. How much would zero boxes cost? How much? Zero dollars. I know. How much does one box cost? What? How much does two boxes cost? How much does three boxes cost? Six. What I what do I keep adding by? 
Two. Two. Go ahead. Now be careful on the last one. Santiago. 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 Okay, page four. The cost of four notebooks is ten dollars. What is the cost of one notebook? So what are we solving one of? Notebooks. Richard, put that down. One notebook. Now, Ashley, focus. Whatever you're finding one of, whatever you're finding one of, that's your X. So whatever you're finding one, that's going to be your X. So what am I finding one of? Notebooks. Notebooks. So that goes here in your X. Notebooks. Where else should I label notebooks? I should also label it here because this is my X. So it's notebooks. So notebooks here, notebooks here. Whatever you're solving one of, write, it, write this down. Whatever you're solving one of, it's your X. Okay? Yeah. So now that we divide, notebooks goes outside. Okay. So read the first sentence. The cost of four notebooks is $10. The cost of four notebooks is $10. So which number represents notebooks? Four. four. That's the number that goes outside. What number goes inside? Ten. ten. What does a ten represent? Money. So that means that Y is your money. Whatever goes inside is your Y. All right, how many times does four go into ten? Two times. Two times four, eight, remainder two, add the decimal and a zero, bring it down. Are we allowed to use a calculator on this, Ms. O'Malley? No, we are not. So you got to make sure you know how to do the long division. How many times does four go into ten? Five. All right, so 2.5. Does anybody know how much money is 2.5? $2.50. Per notebook. Two dollars and fifty cents per notebook. When we divide, we should get two dollars and fifty cents. Two times four is eight. Remainder two. Add a decimal, bring down the zero. All right. Hardest question of the day. If I buy zero notebooks, Caesar, if I buy zero notebooks, how much is that gonna cost me? Oh, geez. Zero dollars. There's actually a time where this will not be a zero, Richard. Okay, how much is one notebook? $2.50. How much is two notebooks? Five. Okay, if you don't know, what you're going to do is you're just going to keep adding 250 plus 250, add another 250, okay? Last time we added $2. Today, we're this time we're adding 250. So uh, we're going to come around and check your tables that you're adding 250. Not five cents, but two fifty. So keep adding two Yeah. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. That's five dollars. Plus two fifty. The only difference is like we keep adding different numbers. All right, um, Daniel, what goes next to this two? What number goes next to this two? Wow. Daniel, what goes next to this three? Now that you know what we're talking about. Good. Wanted to make sure you knew, not just Caesar. All right. Yep, Michael, what goes next to the four? What? Sorry, yes, ten. Uh, number five, Leslie, what goes next to the five? Very good. Um, next to the six, Richard, what goes next to the six? Oh, fifteen. Fifteen. Now, this is not seventeen fifty. No, wait, yeah, seventeen fifty. It's eight. So, class, what goes next to the eight? Twenty. Because we skipped to number eight. If you wrote 1750, you just kept adding. Careful. All right. So on the, so this is notebooks. This is money. Right? On the notebooks, we're going to go by one. One notebook, two notebooks, three notebooks, four, five, six, seven, eight. What am I going to go up on my Y? 2.5. 2.5. And didn't we already do the work? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're just literally going to copy these numbers. Daniela, copy these numbers here, except for the last one, because we skipped. All right, so go ahead and fill this out. Where does that go? Hmm? Oh, no, I just stopped writing. There, Alexa. Yep. <laughs> All right. What's the first point in our table? Our first point is zero, zero. What's our second point? One, two, fifty. Two, five. Three, seven, fifty. Four is ten. Five is twelve, fifty. Does it create a straight line? Yes. And I'm going to draw an arrow at the end. Does your 8 hit the 20? Yes, it does. <coughs> did you write 17.5? Or did you skip it? All right, the three questions. What's the number missing next to the 1 in number 1? 1, comma what? Nope. 250. 
So whatever the unit rate is, it always goes next to your 1. So 2.50. Yeah. So the point 1, 250. What does the point 1, 250 mean? What does the 1 mean now? It doesn't mean cereal boxes. Means one notebook. What cost two dollars and fifty cents? Because in this story, our X are notebooks and our Y are money. So one comma two fifty. Why did I use two fifty? Because that's what our unit rate is. Man, can you answer zero, zero? Oh gosh, I wonder what zero, zero means. Uh, I think I need to apply zero. Hold on. Alright, 615. I'm going to Go ahead. So, like, you can copy all of, if these go in order, you can copy all of these and then stop when I, when it doesn't go in order. All right. So, Richard said that for number three, we're going to do 615. Thanks, Richard. Richard. It's an easy one. At least he didn't do, like, a weird number. 615? Totally. Ariel wanted to do seven. But I said nine. We will in, in the future. All right, so fill in these two sentences. The point zero zero means, and the point six fifteen means, you fill it in. What does zero zero mean? What does six fifteen mean? Are you sure you label everything? 